When is how did I get into this program? While working at Los Alamos National Lab in 1982, the local newspaper did a front page story on a jet car I had built. Coincidentally, Dr. Teller was giving a speech in Los Alamos that same day. We met and had a short chat about the jet car and I later listened to his speech. I never met Dr. Teller again, but in 1988 when I decided to re-enter the scientific community, I sent him a resume and inquired about a job. Dr. Teller responded by telephone and told me that he was no longer active, but just functioned in a consultant capacity. He gave me the name of a contact to call in Las Vegas. I made that call and things progressed from there until I got into the program. I never got a chance to ask Dr. Teller if he remembered me from Los Alamos, so I don't know if that was a factor or not. If you use nuclear fuel and not that possible, nuclear fuel is feasible. But whether these events are velocities, which are interesting, if you ever want to get to that stuff, that is an important question. And that's about all I can say. All I have time to say. And what specifically the fuel will be, I think it might be fission, more probably fusion. And it would absolutely. Is there any other nuclear reaction besides fission and fusion that you know of? Is there anything such a look? Please, you try to explore the things about which I only will have to tell you it is not interesting, it's a waste of time. About plutonium or uranium? Look, it is, in my opinion, not interesting. I don't intend to answer it. If you ask me that question on camera, I will shut up, I will sit silent. You're not going to get an answer out of me on that. Okay. And if I ask you on camera if you know Bob Lazar, can you just say no? I will sit silently.